let's take a look at functions. The first question says, the point where the graph crosses x-axis is called, well, you all know that it is called zeros or x-intercepts of the function or the graph. Two, to determine the x-intercept of an equation, we set y equal to zero and solve for x. This is the process that we take. For question three to seven, determine which equation describes the given graph. Well, here you can take two points on your graph, the first point and the second point, and start writing the equation of the line passing through these two points. This point has zero and negative two. And this point here, if you count one, two, three, four, it is four and zero. Very well, slope M is equal to zero minus minus two divided by four minus zero or two over four, a half. So, so this is the slope, y minus y sub zero equals to m x minus x sub zero. You can take any of these two points to work with. So let's take four as x sub zero and zero as y sub zero. We get y minus zero equals to a half x minus four. So y becomes a half parentheses x minus four, or y becomes, if we distribute a half into parentheses, we get y equals to a half x minus a half times four, which is two. So the correct answer is c. Let us take a look at this graph. This graph is actually the reciprocal graph for y equals to negative one over x. You can use a table, x and y, or you can use Desmos to graph each of these functions. For example, if you use Desmos to graph one over X, the graph is like this. You have the graph located in the first and third quadrant. This is this graph. Y equals to negative one over X has the following graph. Y equals to X cubed has the following graph. It behaves like this. y equals to negative x cubed, this graph behaves as this. Very well. So here we have for question five, we have absolute value shape, but we shifted this graph for units one, two, three, four units downward. It means that the y-intercept is, is at negative four. So we have the absolute value function. We know that the absolute value function behaves like this. It's just a V-shaped graph. But we are taking this graph and shifting it four units downward. It means that now the graph is absolute value of y, four units downward, minus four. What about question six? Question six says, you have a constant function. The y value is constant. This is a constant function. For this function, any x value results in y equal to 
minus 2. So y equals to negative 2 is the definition for this constant function. 